Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word from Allie Winters. The title is Guard Your Tongue, and this word was posted June 29th, 2024. Do not allow your light to be extinguished or your voice to be silenced. Much opposition is coming. Stand in my strength and shine your light for the glory of God. Arise, shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Isaiah 60 verses 1 and 2 Great challenges are coming to my people, my church. Don't back down when opposition comes. Now is your time to shine. You have been called for such a time as this. In our own strength, we are unable to stand. But in him, we can do mighty works and bring glory, honor, and give praise to our King. Be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Ephesians 6 verses 10 through 12 Afflictions are a part of life. In this world, cursed system, heartache and trials will be prevalent. These were determined in the garden at the fall, but my people can live above the fallout of all chaos and conflict. Keep your mind stayed on me. Live a life based on my word, for when you do, no chaos nor conflict will shake your foundation, for you are built on solid rock, not sinking sand. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Proverbs 3 verses 5 through 8. Peace. My word is peace, no hurt, no bitterness, peace. Keep heart and mind stayed on me. Allow no bitterness to gain a stronghold. Guard your tongue. Watch what comes from your mouth. Peace is more precious than bitterness. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. John 14 verse 27. Rest and be at peace. Let go. Let it go. Let all hurt and bitterness go, but learn from it. Use it as another opportunity to grow in his amazing grace. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.